Bob Marley spent his last seven years to be exact, seven years of his life living in this house. Everything inside here is original and authentic. After three again, one, two, three. One love, one heart, let's get together and be alright. Hear the people singing. Those, Those are apples. apples. Those, Those are apples. apples. Those are How much are the apples? Four, 400 yeah, Jamaican. Jamaican. You gotta Jamaican. try, you gotta try. 400 Jamaican? Yes. What's up everybody? Welcome to the beautiful city of Kingston, Jamaica. I've been here for the last few days and let me just tell you, this city has absolutely blown me away. It has so many different contrasts to it and so much going on every single time we step out of the house that it is just an extremely addictive place. Now today, I'm actually gonna take you guys around Kingston. I'm gonna take you guys to some of the most iconic spots in the city, and I'm gonna be showing you guys what 50 US dollars can get you here in the country's capital of Jamaica. Now, right behind me is where we're gonna be kicking off the video today. We're at Emancipation Park, one of the most important parks in the city. But I do wanna let you guys know that it is also one of the newest ones. It was only built in 2002, and it is over six acres long. So it is definitely one of those places you can come and spend a few hours of your time, which is why we decided to come here super early in the morning. Now, before we actually dive on into the park, I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about the statue that's right behind me. Now, this statue is actually called the Redemption Song Statue. And it was actually built by an artist whose name is Laura something. I forgot, please forgive me. But she is extremely talented. I mean, look at this, it is beautiful. And there's actually statues all around the park as well. Now this was made um, in honor to represent one of Bob Marley's most famous songs called the Redemption Song. If you guys haven't heard it, you must listen to it. It is amazing, a classic, but yes, the Redemption Song statues, what a place. Now, before we jump on into the park, I do wanna let you guys know that in this video, you're gonna see the Bob Marley house. We're gonna take you to the Devon house, the home of the very first Afro millionaire. We're also gonna be taking you guys close to the beach so you guys can see what the coast of Kingston looks like. I'll take you guys in the art district as well. And of course, we're gonna be trying some Jamaican food. So join me for an awesome adventure. Just made it inside of Emancipation Park and wow, it is beautiful. There's so much open green space and I'm noticing that there are a lot of statues and like small little fountains and ponds of water. And actually, right at the end, there's a stage that looks like it probably works for like, I don't know, some sort of events, concerts, things like that in the park. And this park is actually surrounded by a lot of hotels. There's a Pegasus over there, Courtyard Marriott, a bunch of different hotels really really nice area there's a lot of flowers a lot of places with some nice shade no i'm definitely glad that we came here early however it is already like nine in the morning and it's scorching hot so do get here early or come later on in the evenings hello guys hello how are you how are you? i'm fine how are you guys doing great good Hi. enjoying jamaica welcome to jamaica how, how long is staying here uh, 17 days. Sweet. A, a nice little, nice little trip in Jamaica. All right. So, um, recommendation: Port Antonio. Okay. It's one of my favorite places. Treasure oh. Beach. Treasure Beach. We heard of that. Yeah, Treasure Beach is good. Okay. Right. Um, West. Um, in Westmoreland, there's a there's a, a White Horses. It's a nice area. Okay. Place where local people go is like Castleton. Hellshire Beach, Hellshire has the best fish. Oh, that's in Portmore, huh? Yeah, oh gosh. It's okay, okay. Delicious. So, Hellshire has better fish than Port Royal? To me. Okay. But I don't know, you may, you may have a different taste than me, so. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, because everybody says Port Royal is better, or so many people say Hellshire is better. Yesterday. I, I've been looking at, at both places, I prefer Portmore. Okay. Yesterday, but, but, everybody we met said Hellshire is the best for seafood, so we gotta go. Definitely. Those are, those are, are apples. apples. Those, those are, are apples. Those are yeah. How much are the apples? Four, 400. Yeah, buy, buy one. You gotta Jamaican. try. You gotta try. 400 Jamaican? Yeah. Yes. That's good price, bro? Good price. Yeah, man. Okay. Good price. Here you go. In the I gave you back $100. Cool. Thank you, bro. He's an honest guy. This guy here. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. Respect. Yeah, so right. these are Jamaican apples? Yeah, you gotta Hell try Hell yeah, them. bro. I'm about to try some Jamaican apples. Yeah, try them. All right. Okay. 
Wow, we just picked up a bag of Jamaican apples. Look at these guys. They look almost like the the tuna fruits that come off the cactus in Morocco. So I just bite into it? Yeah, just eat. But don't eat a seed, please. Okay. What do you think? What do you think, guys? What do you think? Wow. It's delicious. It's delicious. Here, let me give you one. Oh, la, 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 la. <laughs> Yo, mm. this is so good. Mmm. Okay. This is uberific. Mm. Uberific, yeah. Wow. You know what we learned yesterday in... In what? In Jamaica. You don't say appreciate, you say appreciate love. When you say I appreciate love. That's a new thing. I'm that's a new that. thing? Yeah. <laughs> you don't agree with that one. <laughs> no, no, I don't really, but that's new. Okay. Jamaicans, how about we have to do new stuff all the time, eh? Wow. Oh yeah. Oh man, this is so good. So the first expense today is obviously gonna be breakfast. I'm a huge breakfast guy and honestly, you can get away with doing breakfast in Jamaica as cheap or as expensive as you'd like. Now, personally, I like to start my breakfast off nice and strong. Now, we actually just found this place today called Cannonball Cafe, but we tried another place yesterday that sold crepes and they were incredible. But this place right here, as you can tell, they got some fully stacked breakfasts. We got some eggs, bacon, French toast and a huge latte for 12 US dollars. So definitely not the most affordable breakfast that you can find. You can definitely go and have some local eats. However, I'm just gonna let you know, most of the local foods that we've been seeing for breakfast do include fish or seafood. So if you're not a big fan of fish or seafood, you're probably gonna find yourself eating at one of the trendier spots, such as the Cannonball Cafe here in Kingston. Now $12 for a nice breakfast, a huge coffee. Pretty much American prices, but I'm not upset. This looks and smells incredible, and we got a long day ahead of us, so um, bon appetit. Hello for Chris. Hi, good. Hello. Hello, how are you? Hi, I'm good, how are you? Oh, your car feels so nice. Thank you. It's hot out there. It is, definitely. I was parking the sun, so it's kind of hot in there too. Oh, yeah. Doing awesome, having a great time in Jamaica. Yeah, I'm so happy to hear that. We love it here. Aww. You guys went to Bob Marley Museum now? Yeah, we haven't been. We, you know, we wanted to do like the local things first, but now it's time to do some tourist stuff. <laughs> it's time for us to go see Bob, Bob's yeah, house. Definitely. So, but this Bob Marley Museum, this is where Bob Marley lived when he was well, like during his prime, right? No. No. Oh. He lived in Trench Town. In Trenchtown, in the in yes. the in the A yard, right? Yes. Okay, so the museum is just where he used to do like um, recording and stuff like those. Like, and I think they have. Trust me, I don't know what to tell you. I live in Jamaica. And I've never been there. Okay. <laughs> fair enough. Honestly, fair enough. Honestly, I can't say, but I know that's not where it's Trenchtown, where he used to live before. Okay. So they have like paintings and stuff like that. It's just like and they would show you that this is where he grew up so it's not really unless you would like to know like the yard that he was raised in or see the drawings or where the um, the tough bomb studio was and stuff like that okay yeah but that's just basically it. okay so but he where he lived was in trench town and also where he was born and raised was in nine mile up north yes okay so we need to go to nine mile because that's where his house childhood house is Nine miles. It says that it's like an hour outside Ocho Rios, a small little town where Bob Marley was oh, born. In Ochi. So right now we're in the Uber and we're making our way over to Bob Marley Museum, but we've had an incredible driver, such a lovely lady, and she's told us so much about uh, Kingston, and we've actually had a good time talking about the Bob Marley Museum, and it turns out that I don't even know why I'm going here. <laughs> it's just I'm going here because this is where all the tourists go. However, this isn't even the house where Bob Marley lived. However, we're going to learn a little bit about the history and, you know, um, she did talk to me about a guest that did come here and didn't make it to the museum and on the way to the airport was crying. So to avoid that, we're on our way to the museum. Oh, we've made it to Bob Marley's museum. Oh, wow. It's already so colorful. And there's a big statue of Bob right there. Right there. See? Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. Bye. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Wow. Super honest. Thank you. Wow, you guys saw that? I left my cash in the back of the Uber and she told me that my money was there. Such honest people here in Jamaica. Anyways, we just made it here to the Bob Marley Museum. I know that there's no filming, no photos inside because I've read a million reviews prior to coming here. However, 
let's purchase our tickets head on in there and I'll let you guys know exactly what you can see inside so entrance tickets inside the museum cost $25 per person and there are set times so do call in advance if you want to make a slot without wasting so much time we got to wait around 20 minutes until the next tour but there are plenty of tourists here um, I have a feeling that the group is gonna be quite large good afternoon, good afternoon. Started all over to put some effort in your step. When I said Bob, you said Molly. Bob, Molly. When I said one, you said love. One, love. love. You're Irish. Just said yeah, man. You're yeah, Irish. Man. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. No, welcome to Jamaica and welcome to the Bob Molly Museum. Bob Molly spent his last seven years, to be exact, seven years of his life living in this house. Everything inside here is original and authentic. I picture again one, two, three. One, two. One heart, let's get together and be alright. Hear the people singing. One love. Hear the people singing. One heart. Give thanks and praise to the Lord, and I will be alright. One more time again. Let's get together. Ricky Chapin Banner, January, and the month of when me rule a data, February, and the fruits when me eat no mango and these berry, and me jump on a plane down in a Miami, and the woman on me yard, her name is Cherry Sing, who won? Alright guys, so we just got done wrapping up our tour here at the Bob Marley Museum and let me just tell you guys, this tour was incredible. It was expensive, $25 per person, but totally worth it. Now, there was a bit confusion when we were in the Uber earlier, but like most people that live in a place, you usually don't know too much about the history, but this is in fact a house where Bob Marley lived. In fact, right behind me is the very room that Bob Marley and a few of his team members actually got shot, shot at in an assassination attempt in the year 1976 so it's pretty crazy you can actually see where the rounds pierce through the wall here and let me just tell you guys the whole history about this house is just incredible so he lived here once he got some money once he got some fame before that he lived in Trenchtown, which is a little bit uh, more south here in the city and then of course obviously before that he lived in the village but yeah wow what a place it's time for us to get on out of here and let's go let's go get some food i think up next is the devon house So that Uber ride costed us another five US dollars, but we just made it here to the Devon house and I had no idea that this land or this property is actually super massive and there's everything from a spa to a taco bar to a bakery and you can even do a tour of the Devon house mansion, which unfortunately we don't have time for today. However, we had to stop by the Devon house bakery because everybody says this is the best place to come and get a curry goat patty. Never had curry goat, never had a patty, Jamaican patty. Today is gonna to be the first time. Just left Devon's House Bakery. Wow, as soon as you walk inside there, it smells incredible, but they want everything to be done extremely fast. I thought it might've been like a sit down place, but no, you just walk in there, you grab your baked items. They got all kinds of sweets and of course, all kinds of Jamaican patties. Now, I had to of course go with the curry goat patty that everybody recommended from here. Oh, it's so hot. Oh. It's so hot, but it smells so good. And that's what the Jamaican curry goat patty looks like. Looks kind of like an empanada a samosa but a little bit bigger i definitely approve now let's go ahead and bite into it it is hot but it smells incredible wow yo that is so good and it definitely reminds me of a samosa it has a very strong taste to it it is a little bit on the spicier side and this definitely looks like it's going to be filling i asked the lady inside how many do people usually eat she said you'll be coming back for more so i'm taking that with a grain of salt i don't think i'll actually be back in right after this one this one looks feeling and hearty but i'll definitely be back to try some of their sweets just picked up a strawberry cone but i'm not gonna lie 
I'm not really feeling it. They killed the damn vibe inside of there. The people are so rude and I'm just gonna be the first one to tell you, that should definitely change at all of the touristic sites here in Kingston. The people that attend the tourists are just so damn rude and yeah, absolutely kill my vibe. Definitely don't recommend stopping in this one. There's Devon House ice cream that can be found absolutely everywhere in the city, but let's try it. Yeah, that is good, but it's melting fast. It's so hot here. We must go. All right, guys, what a crazy time we've had here in Kingston. Now, unfortunately, we're gonna have to cut the video a little bit short because it does get dark here around 6 p.m. And right now it is actually 5.50. It is rush hour. We were trying to take an Uber down to the art district to show you that area because we spent some time there yesterday. And honestly, I just love the vibes there. But unfortunately, no Ubers, no in drivers are in the area right now. And I think that has a lot to do with rush hour. We were talking to a couple of Ubers throughout the day and they told us during rush hours, Good luck. A lot of people just try not to even drive or work because it's just not worth their money. Gas here in Jamaica is extremely expensive. And that's another reason why we actually chose to not rent a car here in Kingston. We just decided to take Ubers and in drivers around because, well, not only is the rental car roughly 40 to 60 US dollars a day, but you also have to drive in these chaotic streets, which does not look easy at all. And of course, parking is extremely hard. And here in Kingston, it's kind of like in Venezuela where you have to pay people on the streets to watch your cars. So we were just like, you know what? Let's just avoid those problems right now and just use taxis to get around. And we haven't had any problems. However, a car, I would say, is needed. It is needed to be extremely comfortable. Now, today we spent like $55 according to my calculations. We went slightly over the budget, but that's because a lot of the main attractions are a little bit more expensive to visit. Now, do keep in mind, we missed out on a few things. We didn't do the Devon House Mansion tour. That does have a price to it, but it would have consumed way too much of our time. And what else are you missing? We didn't actually make it to the Blue Mountains or the Sunset location, which looks iconic. However, guys, if you want to um, explore Kingston, I definitely recommend it. This city deserves at least uh, two to three days. I don't think you need any more than that. We're staying here for a week, but you definitely could get it done in two or three days. And it is one of those places worth visiting. Let me know down in the comment section, what was your favorite part of today's video? And I'll see you guys again soon for another adventure from here in Jamaica, Jaman. Did I say that right?